AI is so powerful and it's basically free, unlimited drafts, answers and power. And yeah, you've got the paid versions, but even that's cheap if you think about it. Nothing this big is ever free. Every prompt taps into the grid and the grid is struggling. One ChatGPT question uses 10 times more electricity than a Google search. ChatGPT 5 burns so much energy. It's basically two nuclear reactors running daily, training models, also drinks millions of litres of water. One European model used enough to supply thousands of people for a year. And now the International Energy Agency says global data centre electricity demand will double by 2030, mostly because of AI. Demand is rising faster than solutions. Same with water. Some US data centres use more water than the towns they sit in. By 2027, AI could use more water than the entire UK in a year. And the green AI fixes, well, the scale was outrunning them. And here's the shift. Some governments have started rationing compute, not electricity, compute, because grids can't cope. Yet governments still approve data centres because compute is geopolitical now. Whoever controls compute controls the economy. And while nations fight that battle, we're doing the hidden labour. Every prompt, every correction, every click, we're literally training the next version for them. We get today's model for free. They get the product that we built and they'll still invoice us later. And it's not just us, right? In Kenya, workers were paid under $2 an hour to label violent content so that ChatGPT and other models wouldn't spit it back. That's the labour behind free. And unless you opt out, your prompts train the next version. Our work is literally their R&D. And training isn't one off, models retrain monthly, so the energy cost, the water cost, the human cost repeats every upgrade. And that's why the business business model trap is coming. Startups are building entire companies on free or cheap AI, but free is investor subsidy. Hundreds of billions have gone into AI infrastructure and the plan is simple, get the world dependent, then extract. And there's a timeline, right? This window where AI feels unlimited and free, well, we've bought probably 12 to 18 months and after that, price and power flips. And I know people will say that crypto burns more, flights pollute worse, maybe, but crypto is niche and flights are optional. AI is literally embedding into every workflow, every business, every search box. Scale makes it different and yes, chips will get better, but demand is growing faster than efficiency. You don't shrink a tidal wave by making better surfboards. So let me be clear, these tools aren't free at all. They're powered by infrastructure, funded by investors and trained by us. And when the rent comes due, it won't just hit your bill. It will hit your business model, right? And the lesson here is don't build something that only survives while AI is cheap. Build for the moment when it isn't. That's when the real game starts.